it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4 and welcome to my channel. Okay, today we are going to make a huge beehive beeski door hanger for your front door or whatever door you want to put it on. But and we're going to use items from Dollar Tree. So, I have a black foam board from Dollar Tree. I just grabbed one of these and then I have a bunch of rope. Okay, I have 10 bundles of the nine and a half feet. It is the 2.8 meter, just the nautical rope from Dollar Tree. And I grabbed 10 of these because I don't know how many it's gonna take. So like always, we're gonna do this together. You know, so, you know, it's kind of a learn as we go, but by the time we're finished, you'll know exactly what you need and how to do it. So, like, and then, and I just have one of the eight foot. So I kind of may use this one, like just for like a little bit different of a size, like for like the opening, like for like the, the beehive door, you know, like the door, I guess you'd say. <laughs> so yeah, so we got this and we're gonna need um, hot glue. So make sure you have plenty of hot glue sticks, um, some flowers, some ribbon. Dollar Tree has some beautiful sunflowers. They have amazing ribbon. So, but all right, let's, um, let's get to it. Okay, so I've got my, like I said, the Dollar Tree foam board. Okay, so here's what you can do. You can make kind of like a triangle. Just do a triangle, but make your edges rounded for like for your beehive. Just kind of do like a big triangle, but with the rounded edges, you could do that. Or I'm gonna try to do like humps, almost like layers to start out small and get bigger as they go. So, okay, let's just do this. <laughs> I'm just gonna draw my first little hump. Got that right there. Okay, now I'm gonna go out water just a little bit. So I have this pencil mark right here. I came in a little bit and then I went out. Okay, just like that. All right. So I'm gonna try to do the exact same thing to the other side. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna go wide all the way to the edge, come down, I'm gonna loop it off and go straight across. Okay. Just that. Same thing. I'm gonna go wider pretty much to the edge. Okay, because it's black, it's hard to see, but very lightly, you can see my pencil lines. It's like my drawings how it went out, came in, went back out almost to the edge, and then came down, went all the way across, and I did the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, so now that I have this drawn on here, I'm now gonna take this outside, and I'm gonna use a box cutter, just a Dollar Tree box cutter, if you have sharp scissors or whatever you have, um, but I cannot cut this on my countertop. So I'm gonna take this outside and try to cut it on the sidewalk really quick. <laughs> okay, y'all, I took this outside. I set it down on the, um, on the sidewalk. I just took my razor blade, my box cutter, and I just very slowly just kind of sawed it just a little bit. There was times I could press harder and kind of drag it, but just take your time and be careful. So, all right, so I have this cut out. This is gonna be like my beehive shape. And then now we are going to wrap this in the nautical rope from Dollar Tree. Like I said, I'm gonna hot glue. So I'm just gonna wrap mine all the way around. And plus two, our front door, like the inside, or like I guess the center is glass. So you see it, you know, when you're inside the house. So this way I will have like, you know, the back will also be as nice as the front. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna start putting hot glue at the bottom and then I'm just going to slowly just wrap my way all the way to the top. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna start, put a little hot glue down here, and I'm just gonna slowly just start wrapping it. That'll just kind of get me started. Lay that right there in that hot glue. I guess I'm gonna come down to like the edge. So, I've never done this before either. So everything I do, a lot of times, is just kind of a learning. Like, we just learn and do this together. All right, so, so I'm gonna 
I don't need hot glue all the way around, so I'm just gonna kind of put some here and there. And lay that straight down in there. Just kind of going along the border right now, just right along that bottom edge. All right, as you can see, the bottom is now hot glued down. So I'm just gonna turn it over. And once again, I'm just gonna go along the bottom edge and we are just gonna slowly wrap this all the way up. Okay, so like I said, I just flipped it over. I will once again put some hot glue right here along the bottom. Gonna push that and hold that right down in that glue. Okay. Okay. Like I said, just slowly just going along the bottom here. I'm gonna finish off this right here. Be careful not to burn yourself. <laughs> All right. So, for starters, this is wrapped all the way around right here. Okay, now at the very end, when we're finished, I will probably put another piece of rope just right here on the bottom just to clean that up. But for now, like I said, I'm just gonna flip this over. And once again, I'm gonna continue gluing all the way around. So I'm gonna put some glue right on top of this rope right here. Bring that around from the back side. And I'm just gonna push that right down and push these two ropes together. Okay, that way there's no gap. Just push them right here together. Okay, once again, I'm just going to put some more glue right along the top of that first rope. And lay this down in there. Just push it down. Just push the two ropes together. So, so you got that. Once again, I'm gonna turn it over. And just gonna do more glue. I'm just like I said, slowly work my way. Once again, I'm at the edge. I'm just gonna turn this over and I'm just gonna keep on gluing. Like I said, this is just gonna be a slow process of gluing all the way up to the top. Okay, so this is one package, one bundle of the rope. So I have no clue how many this is gonna take and hopefully I have enough. Now granted, you know, as we get higher, it gets smaller, so you won't need as, as much, I hope. So, all right, let's keep going. So here's my thought. Now that I'm up this far, I, I wanna make this into a door hanger. So I need to, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and try it right here. I'm gonna take just some sharp scissors and I'm gonna poke a hole on each side and I'm gonna put some, some rope to make a hanger. So, okay, let's go ahead and try this. Like I said, just about right here on each side. It's about like right there. 
I'm just gonna push that through. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over to this side and do the exact same thing. Just push it through and make a hoe. Okay. So I'm gonna take a separate thing of rope and I'm going to push it through. Kind of figure out which is your front and which is your back. Mine, I guess I use this as my front. So this right here is my back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push through from the front. So I'm gonna go to the front and just push through to the back. Just try to push it through that hole. If you need to, make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so I fed that through. Now I'm just gonna take the ends and I'm just gonna put a knot at the end. Okay. Okay, so now I'll pull that through and that knot's gonna hit. Okay. So now I'm gonna take the other end of that same rope and just push it through. And I'm gonna feed it through until I get where I want it to be. Okay, so now I've got this much of a door hanger right here. Um, that should be good. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this rope and I'm gonna make a knot. Once again, all the way back here. Pull that and make a nice knot. And there we go. Now let's take my scissors and I'll cut this off. Okay, so now I have my door hanger. Here's the knots on the back side of it. So I'm gonna continue to glue around and we are almost done. <laughs> As you can probably tell, uh, I've changed clothes and I got my nail spade and nail. So yes, we will talk about that later. <laughs> All right, so once again, the same rope that I've been gluing with, not the one that I just did this. This was a separate rope. Okay, so now once again, I'm just gonna continue to glue. Did not need that much glue to come out. Okay. And just keep on working it. Okay, I'm just gonna continue to flip it like I have been. Okay, I think I'm gonna pull this, each one of these kind of up, and I'm just gonna kind of glue up, uh, <laughs> up over it and then back down. So let's see if I can get that to work. Pull that back down, go like on top and around it. Then I'm gonna put more glue going this way. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let hold that there. Same thing. Get my glue up until I get to it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little glue just right there, right up to it, but not on top of it. And I'm gonna pull that one back through, and now I'm gonna go up and over it. Just kind of tuck it under some. Just put my hot glue there. Okay, and I'll just hold that into that dress. Okay, so this is just me. I think, I've never done this before. This is just something I've thought of, and I was like, just wanted to try it. So I think, I'm just gonna hot glue right over top of this rope. That way you don't even see this. All you'll see is the, this hand grip here. So I'm gonna try that and then we'll see how it works. And that way you'll know if you wanna do it or not. But okay, like I said, I'm just gonna do hot glue. And I'm just gonna go right over top of that rope. Okay. So it may kind of give me a lump, but I'm gonna put flowers in a bow. So you won't, you won't even notice it. Once again, I'm gonna go right over top of this rope. I'm just gonna push that down into that rope. Okay, 
turn it over <laughs> and just keep on gluing. You're gonna push in firm right there on top of the rope and on the very other side of the rope. So both sides of the rope, I'm pushing really firm, but I'm also using my back fingers to brace the foam board. Thank goodness hot glue dries fast. So back here, I'm kind of running out of foam board. So I'm just gonna glue to the back side of each of the rope. Just put a little glue right here on this rope. And then I'll just put some over here on this side of the rope. Okay, and then a last little bit right here on the front. All right, put some glue all the way around. Hold all that down once again, just till everything dries. Yeah, so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put glue just like on each side and I'm gonna cut it and be done with this. <laughs> all right, let's see. Do a little right there. That way I can kind of like finish on the back side of it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this rope off. So what I'm gonna do now is, because I want the bottom to look good too, I'm gonna take some rope and I'm just gonna hot glue it straight across here. That way this is nice and clean looking. Like I said, just glue it straight across. So I'm gonna cut off this end right here. And then just kind of glue this down a little bit. Okay, see, look at the ends. See, it's nice and clean looking now. <sighs> okay, <laughs> finally, I have no idea why there's like this right here. It's lighter than everything else. So you got these two strips in right here. I mean, <laughs> oh well. We, <laughs> but we're gonna do like the door now, like the little entrance. So that'll cover up some of it. Okay, so for like the door, for like the opening, we're gonna use this rope. This is the eight foot rope, but it's 2.43 meters. Where this one is 2.8. So this one right here, it's a little bit thicker. So you can see the difference. Can you tell? <laughs> so we're just gonna use like the thicker one like for the door. All right, let's see. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I have this glass bow. Use a bow, use whatever you want or just freehand it. But I'm gonna use this bow and I kind of center it to where I want it to be. Okay, so I'm gonna take my bow and so I don't like glue my bow, I'm just gonna take a marker and I'm just gonna trace around this, and that will give me an idea of where to glue my rope. Yep, there you go. There's my circle. <laughs> and then I got purple all over my bow. <laughs> okay, so I see my, my circle that I traced. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna try to glue along that circle. And here's the thing, it doesn't have to be perfect. A majority of the things that I do is not perfect. <laughs> okay, 
I'm gonna cut this off right here. I'm gonna glue this down. Here's the thing, I am completely out of tape. If I had tape, I would have taped these ends together. That way they don't unravel and fray on me, but I don't have any tape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to glue this together without it looking messy. Okay, so now I'm gonna paint the, like the inside of like my door, like the opening black. I'm just gonna use some basic black apple barrel paint. Um, Walmart, this big bottle was like $2. You can get the smaller bottles for 50 cents. Okay, I'm just gonna try to use a foam brush from Dollar Tree. Now, I maybe should have painted it first, then put my <laughs> rope down over top of it, but I'm gonna do my best to try to paint this as neat as possible. So, let's get my black. Okay, so I did the black paint. You could also do black felt. Like if you have some black felt at home, cut out your circle and then put your rope down over top of your black felt, which I didn't have any, but that is actually a really good idea. Okay, let's now decorate. Okay, look how huge this is. Ha! This is a large beehive bee ski door hanger. Now, you can, like I said, you can either hang this on your door or you could prop this up just in your house. If you've got like a mantle or something or in your kitchen, you know, where family room, wherever you're decorating, you can also do that. But I'm going to attempt to hang this because this is heavy. <laughs> so I wrap mine all the way around. So like I said, this is heavy because of all the rope. So, all right, I'm gonna take our lemon wreath down that we made together. Right, now, right. <laughs> say drum roll, please. <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> All right, it is hanging. Okay, so my thought now is to add some beautiful flowers. Um, I have this bouquet. This right here is from Michaels. It was $9.99, but 50% off. So I got this for $5. And look at these. That is so pretty. I love how they're they're long and just kind of wispy. This was $4.99, 50% off. So I got this for $2.50. But I love these. I think about mixing these together. Um, you can use any flowers that you want. Dollar Tree has some beautiful sunflowers, daisies, you know, whatever you want to use. But so my thought is to add this onto here. Of course, a bow. You know, we're gonna add a bow to it. Okay, I found this amazing bee ribbon at Hobby Lobby. Um, it was $3.99, but I got it when it was 50% off. So I got this thing right here for $2. It's three yards. This is, okay, if you are looking for ribbon at Hobby Lobby, there's three different sections at Hobby Lobby that carries ribbon. So you've got like the seasonal ribbon, which is always with you, know, whatever holiday is going on. Like right now it's like patriotic. You have patriotic ribbon is with all the 4th of July stuff. Then you have back in the fabric department. If you go to like the fabric, there's a bunch of shelves of ribbon. And then also over by the flowers, like in the wedding section, there's a whole aisle full of ribbons, mesh, burlap. So if you just like, when you go to Hobby Lobby, check all three sections to find ribbon. This ribbon was in the fabric section at my stores. They also had ladybugs, sunflowers. I was really impressed and surprised. But look how cute that is. So I'm gonna mix this with some black and white polka dots that I have. So we're gonna make a bow using these right here. So this is the two and a half inches and this is one and a half inch. I love mixing the two together. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of play around with this and I'll kind of show you as we're going. All right. <laughs> Let me take my price tag off. I have a habit of like starting things and I forget to take the price tags off. For starters, I'm gonna take this and I'm basically just going to separate it. I'm gonna bend this one to the stem, just like that. 
So that way I'm gonna have a ribbon, like my bow is gonna go right there. Okay. Now that I have that, I'm just gonna kinda like fluff and adjust these flowers. Okay, so I'm gonna take this stem of daisies and I'm basically gonna kinda like do the same thing. I'm just gonna take whatever's on this side and I'm just going to push that straight down. Okay, so I have some at the top and I have some going down. I'm gonna attach these two together, just like that. Okay. So right now that I have these right here, I'm gonna take a pipe cleaner. I'm just gonna take this black pipe cleaner. And I'm gonna stick it right there in the center. And I'm gonna wrap it around these really tight and give it some good tight twist. That way I can keep this together so I can like manipulate it. So I can like kind of maneuver it however I want it. I think I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna wrap it right here around one of these little loops. That. And I'm just going to twist my pipe cleaner onto around this door hanger loop. Okay, so I have that for now just to kind of hold it in place for me. Okay, I'm going to leave that just for a minute and we're going to work on the bow. That way I can kind of stick my bow and see what I need to do to it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make a bow to stick right in the center of here. Alright, so. I'm going to take my ribbon. Okay, this is one-sided. The bright print's only on one side. So I'm going to, all right, I'm turn sideways. I'm going to pinch me a tail. Okay, there's the bright front side. I'm gonna pinch a tail. Okay, so I'm now gonna take, here's the front. I'm now gonna take this. I'm going to loop that up into the back. And then I'm gonna pinch it. Okay, so therefore I've got the print here. In on the back. All right, so now that I pinched that, I'm now gonna take this ribbon. Okay, see that's dangling down? I'm now just gonna pull that straight up and then I'm going to bend it over and come back. Okay, see it was straight up. All right now I'm going to loop it just straight down. And then once again, I'm going to pinch everything together right here between my thumb. I'm going to make sure my loops are about the exact same sizes of each other. If not, you just kind of adjust it a little bit. Okay, so I got that right there. Okay, so now I'm done with this one. So, okay, to make this easy for you, since you have this, take your chip clip or a clothespin and just pinch it right there together in the center. That way everything holds for you. Now, you can set this aside for a minute. I'm now gonna take the black and white ribbon. Same thing, I'm gonna pinch me a little tail. Okay, I'm gonna turn this way. Okay. Same thing, the print's on the front, not really on the back. So that's down. So I'm now gonna loop it towards the back, right? And I'm gonna pinch it right there, right in the center, okay? Okay. All right, so now that I have this, I'm just gonna push that straight up and then pinch it right there in the center to make my second loop, okay? Once again, make sure your loops are about the same size. This one's a little bit bigger. So I'll just kind of pull and adjust it, okay? So once again, I have this pinched. I have two loops, all right? I'm gonna pick up this bundle and take my chip clip off, all right? And then just keep on pinching it right there in the center where everything was pinched together. Okay, so now I have this pinched. I'm now gonna take the black and white and I'm gonna lay that right across the center of it. All right, so now everything is pinched together. I'm gonna take another pipe cleaner and I'm gonna go across the center of it, right across the middle, pull it to the back, kind of fold that down, give it a good pinch and then some tight twist. All right, and then you just can adjust your loops. Okay, so now that you have this, you have your tails that you can cut, and you can make your tails as long as you want them to be. First, okay, you see where that opening, where that space is, the left blank? Okay, so I'm now gonna take this, and I'm gonna wrap it around that bundle right there. Okay, I'm just gonna take my pipe cleaner, push it through that same little loop handle, so I got that right there. All right, so you can see, see, I looped it over this right here. 
Now I'm gonna take my pipe cleaners and give me some good tight twist to secure that on there. All right, and then once we're done, if I have this exactly how I want, I will trim all this off. But for now, I don't wanna cut that off until I know it's how I want it to be. All right, so use my, my loop, my door hanger, put that back on my hook. Okay, now it's just a matter of fluffing your bow and getting your flowers how you want them to be. Okay. So I'm going to cut my tail. Okay. That one. I'm going to cut this one. And this, you just fold it in half. Okay? Just get your ribbon, just fold it completely in half. And if you want to do the dovetail, which is like the pretty V, right? so where it's open, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut up because of the angle that I'm at. Okay? So I'll just stick it right here on the opening. I'm gonna cut up towards the folded. All right, and now I have a pretty dovetail. Wow. <laughs> okay, so that to me is looking pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of roll that up in there. Stick that underneath there a little bit. Okay, so you can see I've got the long stem from these white flowers. I'm gonna go up here to the top and I'm gonna um, cut off this extra tail that I don't need, this long tail. All right, just take some wire cutters. Okay, now <laughs> I have these little bees. These bees right here, they're from Michael's. Now Dollar General had the cutest bees last year for a dollar. They didn't have them this year or my store sold out of them, but I couldn't find any this year. So I did get this at Michael's and they're, they're a lot more expensive at Michael's, but like I said, I couldn't find them anywhere else. Um, it doesn't have a price on it, but I think it was like $3 and that was on sale. <laughs> but I thought they were so cute and I knew that I wanted some bees for the door hanger. So I went ahead and grabbed a couple of these and I thought, you know, maybe we could add them onto here and see what it looks like. Okay, let's try two of these and see how that looks. Um, I'm thinking maybe one kind of down here at the opening, kind of like at the little door. And what it is, these are plant, um, like planter hooks. So there, there are pot, what are these called? <laughs> pot holders? Yeah. So these are actually like pot holders. Like they're supposed to hang onto like, um, like a plant, like a pot. So they got these little hooks right here. So I'm hoping that maybe I can kind of just attach that onto there. Okay. So there's one sitting right there. Um, let's try another one, like maybe like right here. I'm gonna try to take its little legs. Look at that, see how long those little bars are right there? And see if maybe I can like weave up into this rope. All right, so what I'm trying to do on this, because the way this little body is, I can't hot glue this on here because there's nothing to really touch and attach to the wreath. So I'm using these little legs and I'm trying to like poke it through the rope into the foam board. All right, so I got this pushed in. Oh, there we go. That is now pushed in. All right, so that is through the rope and into the foam board. This one right here is just kind of hooked onto here. I may have to do like a little um, hot glue to help hold him on into place. Okay, I have one more that we could try. So like I said, I bought three of these. Um, okay, so I got one there, one down here. I need something over this direction, I think. Um, should I have him? Kind of down here too, like he's into the bees or into the, the little hive, little honey. Okay, once again, I'm gonna take these legs, these points, I'm gonna try to push it into the foam board. That one was easy. All right, <laughs> that one was actually easier than the top one for some reason. <gasps> All right, there we go. Okay. Here's what I think I'm gonna do, because I feel like I need something down here. I think I'm gonna add another bow and maybe like another sunflower too. So let's try that and see how that looks. <laughs> okay, once again, I'm gonna take my ribbon. I'm gonna pinch me a tail. Okay, so about like that. I'm gonna take this ribbon. Okay, see so it's straight down. I'm now going to loop it up towards the back and I'm gonna pinch it. 
Okay, so you got that loop right there. Now this ribbon right here, I'm gonna take that straight up, okay? And then I'm gonna come down with it. And once again, I'm gonna pinch it right there in the center, okay? I'm gonna make sure my loops are about the exact same size of each other. Okay, if not, you just kind of adjust one just a little bit. Okay, all right, so I've got that right there, same size. Once again, you can take like a chip clip or a clothes pin and just hold that together. That way you don't have to worry about it. Just hold on to that one for a minute. Now I'm gonna take my black one. Once again, I'm gonna pinch me a tail. Okay, there's my tail right there. Okay, my ribbon straight down. I'm going to curl up towards the back and take it right there to my fingers, which was pinched in the center. Okay, so just like that right there. Okay, now you see how you have this dangling? Just now pull it straight up in the air and then loop down towards the front with it straight down. All right, and then I'm gonna pinch that right there in the center. Okay, and then we'll see if my loops are about the same size, which they are not. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull that one down a little bit. All right, so those are pretty daggone close. All right, so I have this pinched right here. I'm gonna stick it between my thumb and forefinger. I'm just gonna hold it there for a minute. Okay, pick up my bundle right here. Take that off. All right, so where that was pinched, I'm gonna keep holding it. I'm gonna take my other bundle and I'm gonna lay that right on front, right across the middle of that. Okay, all that's right there. Now I'm just gonna use one of the tails that I cut off in the back. You, you know, you can use another full pipe cleaner I'm just gonna use this because I don't need a lot. All right, so I'm gonna take that, wrap it around the center, go towards the back. Okay, once again, I'm gonna take all of this ribbon and I'm gonna put it upside down, just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna pinch that really tight and give me some good, tight twist. Okay, now I've got my bundle all twisted together. So now this is tied with that pipe cleaner, I can now adjust my ribbon however I want it to go. Okay, you don't have to worry about it coming apart. Okay, so just kind of fluff it all out. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I think in order to get this to attach to all this rope, I'm gonna use a push pin from Dollar Tree. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do is, this push pin, I'm now gonna take this tail that I have I'm gonna wrap it around this push pin. Okay, so I'm gonna lay my push pin right down here in between these tails okay, of that push pin. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna twist these as tight as I can around the head of that push pin. Okay, I'm just gonna keep on twisting it. Now I've got that, it's now wrapped around there. Okay, <laughs> now. Pull up this out again. All right, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this push pin. I am gonna put a little bit of hot glue on the needle part, like the actual like needle of it. Just a little glue on it, you don't need a lot. And I'm gonna push that into, I'm gonna push this and let this dry, and let that glue dry. Okay, while that glue is drying, I'm gonna take my ends, I'm gonna trim up the edges or the ends of my ribbon. Okay. okay, see that ribbon right there? See how it's got the point? I don't want the point, I want like the dovetail. So I'm gonna fold that over in half. Okay, and since my angle is going up, I'm gonna put my scissors along the fold and I'm gonna cut up at an angle towards the open side. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna cut up at an angle and it gives me that beautiful dovetail. Okay, down here. Once again, I'm gonna fold this over in half. But now, since my angle is going down, since everything is going down, I'm gonna fold this over. Okay, so now, on the open side, I'm gonna cut up at an angle. All right, so just cut it like that, and there's my dovetail. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna fold that over in half. And since I'm cutting up, I'm gonna go on the open side and just cut up. 
All right. <laughs> now I think I'm gonna take a sunflower and I may try to add a sunflower to this. All right, I'm just gonna put some hot glue on the end of the sunflower. Okay, so I'm take that. I'm just gonna put hot glue along the stem. I'm gonna stick it right down in here, like into my bundle of flowers or ribbon. And I'm kind of pressing against the rope. Then I'll let that dry. Okay, I think I may add another sunflower right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bundle, and they always have these little edges, these little ridges. Almost kind of like it shows you where you can cut at. So I'm just gonna cut that right there. <laughs> okay. All right, so I have this one too. Let's see. Just kind of give it a little bend. Try to bend that stem. Okay, so just put like a little bend in that. I'm now going to coat this in hot glue. Okay, so this whole little tail right here, this whole little stem, I keep saying tail, this whole stem, I'm just going to coat that into hot glue. Okay. Now I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna push that up into and behind this ribbon. And I'm gonna hold that and kind of press it into the rope too and let that dry. Look at that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to put this back here. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some glue onto my stem. down into here and get this to place just right for me. I think I'm gonna add one more. Once again, just hot glue this stem up for me. Okay. I'm gonna go right in behind this sunflower and I'm gonna press down into the rope. Oh my gosh, I love this. Uh, this turned out even better than I thought. So I love it. Please, please, please let me know what you think. Um, let's talk numbers. Okay, obviously you can tell I am wearing something completely different. This right here has taken me two weeks. <laughs> two weeks to finish this because this took a lot more rope than I thought. I started with 10. I ended up using 26 things of rope, okay? <laughs> so yes, that is $26 worth of rope, but I love this, okay? If you went on Etsy, you're gonna pay probably close to $100 for this on Etsy. If you go to a craft fair, if I made this, I'm charging at least 60. <laughs> Seriously, because I mean, this took some time and maybe even more because I mean, I got $10 in flowers alone, not to mention like all the ribbon and the bees. So making this yourself, you're going to save a lot of money versus like going on Etsy or like a craft fair, but it's worth it because <laughs> those people work hard. Um, okay. So this took quite a few hours to finish. Now I used 26 things of rope because I rope I roped it. <laughs> I wrapped it all the way around. So if you only do the front, it only will probably take you about 12, 12, maybe 13. Um, but like I said, I wanted mine, like as you can see, the back side. The back looks, you know, like the front. That's what I wanted because we have a big glass front door. Okay, so you see whatever's hanging on our door. But for you, like I said, grab you 12 or 13 of these right here. And what I would recommend, like, you know, if you don't have like a glass door, like a glass window, about an inch on the back side, hot glue it right there, wrap it over, another inch on the back, hot glue it, cut it. I would just continue to do that, about an inch, two inches if you want. Glue to the back, wrap it, another two inches, cut it. And it'll only take you like 12 or 13 of them. <laughs> but <laughs> as time consuming as this was, 
I think it's worth it. I really do love it. And this is going to go on our front door door. And I am proud to hang this up to chow. <laughs> so, um, a lot more projects to come. I'm trying to like knock these out as quick as I can. Yeah. I'm just trying to get out as many as I can because I know a lot of you, you're ready. You know, you're ready to do your bees and lemons and patriotic. And I have all of those planned to come in. It's just everything's so time consuming. But yeah, all right, this right here, I cannot find my ruler anywhere. <laughs> I've like torn up my craft room. I, I don't know, I have no idea where my ruler is. I don't know where my husband's measuring tape is. So, but as soon as I find it, I'm gonna let you know exactly how tall this is. It's at least 24 inches, if not bigger. But this was foam board from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree rope. I did the black paint. You could do black felt. Um, and then just flowers. Like I said, my flowers are from Michael's, but gosh, Dollar Tree, Walmart. I mean, Walmart has some really pretty inexpensive flowers. Dollar Tree has some beautiful sunflowers. I've got some really pretty daisies from there. Um, if you want to do Dollar Tree ribbon, get the burlap ribbon with like the white polka dots or the black polka dots. That would be really cute. So, but yeah, you can make this however you want. And if you don't feel comfortable, doing like the lumps like the bubbles that i did do you a triangle just you know instead of having like pointed edges just round your edges of a triangle that'd be really cute like um be have be skeep <laughs> and if you like this give me a thumbs up and if there's someone you think that would like love to make something like this let them know go tell them about it but all right <laughs> i hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.